When you're sick or hurt, every second counts when you're waiting for help. Yeah, no doubt. Just imagine having to wait up to 25 minutes. That's how long, in some cases, it takes to get an ambulance in Coffee County. There's a shortage of paramedics. The EMS director told News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger he needs help filling positions before something bad happens. These are my intubation tools. Some of our drugs that we have. These are for somebody were to go into cardiac arrest. It's not easy to be a paramedic in Coffee County. Kelly Bergman gets plenty of work. Past couple paychecks that I've had, I've worked roughly anywhere from 160 to 180 hours of overtime. It's good money, but there's a price to pay. Your knees hurt, your back hurts, your shoulders hurt, just from lifting patients, putting them in and out of the trucks. And it's not that you've injured, it's just your body's worn out. Bergman is not the only paramedic who's tired. There aren't enough of them in Coffee County. The issue here is that the starting pay for a paramedic is just $11.78 an hour. In the outlying counties, you can make as much as $18 an hour. EMS Director Michael Bonner says he's having difficulty filling positions. He's short nine people, and some days only three ambulances cover the whole county. How do you cover the entire county with just three ambulances? Well, we've been uh, lucky so far. Bonner says calls have been staggered enough not to get them into trouble. When there has been an issue, adjoining counties have helped out. We've got 30 miles of interstate that gives us um, more than our share of, of wrecks. Uh, we had a motor vehicle accident a couple of months ago with 11 patients. Three ambulances doesn't work. He says in Coffee County, paramedics are choosing other health-related professions. Some are finding with just a little more education, they can make a lot more money in nursing. Last week, Bonner met with the County Commission's Budget and Finance Committee, hoping they'd help him next year. Bergman says sometimes a 10 or 15 minute delay can be the difference between life and death. And that's a long time if you've got somebody not breathing or somebody that's having chest pain that's having an MI. So it's a delay in care. In Coffee County, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD. Most of the paramedics and EMTs Mark spoke with say they have to work a second job to survive. The Coffee County Commission starts looking at next year's budget in March.